if you've been out and around recently, you've seen all these houses decorated with things that are supposed to be scary. Ghosts, bats, witches, black cats. Of course, those things aren't really scary. What's really scary is the fact that the mind can change so quickly. You set your mind on one thing and it turns around and does something else, often without warning. Now, the fact that it can change from a bad direction to a good direction, that's not bad, but it's when you're going in a good direction and you suddenly turn around. That's what's really scary. So we have to de develop the mind so it doesn't change so quickly, so that you begin to trust it. The only thing that's really worth fearing is the fact that the mind can do unskillful things, things that would lead to long-term suffering often without knowing what it's doing. We all want happiness, and yet the big mystery in life is why do we create so much pain? So we have to look into the mind, get the mind to settle down here with the breath, and then you can see it in action. You can see as a thought forms, how the mind stamps its approval on some thoughts and not on others. And you can begin to try to do it with some consistency. It's this quality of consistency that you want to develop. It requires mindfulness, alertness, ardency. All the things that can get the mind into concentration and you can keep it there. So these are the qualities we're trying to develop as we meditate. Qualities of trustworthiness. That you get to know the mind. And when its actions and intentions seem to be going in the wrong direction, you can redirect it. Because you're there, you're present, you're clear about what's happening. And when you've taken care of this one big fear, then the other fears don't really amount to much. There's not much, that much that bats and witches and other things can do to you, or ghosts. The worst things are the things that you do to yourself. So when you've gotten this corner taken care of, that takes care of everything else.